front spray bar is located directly behind the push rollers between the two crawler tracks. Two movable spray bars are mounted on the right and left of the paver, which being connected to the screed can move to adapt to changing pave widths. When the pave width increases, closed spray nozzles are switched on. When it decreases, they are switched off automatically. The two outermost spray nozzles on the two spray bars at the sides can be switched off at any time, also from the screed console. A further spray bar is mounted behind each of the crawler tracks. Five spray bars ensure complete coverage of the existing surface with emulsion. They are cleverly arranged to ensure that the paver won't drive over the freshly sprayed emulsion in a homogeneous temperature in the tank. The emulsion must be circulated continuously. This is done automatically during the paving process. Before paving starts and during extended breaks in work, it can be done manually via the menu Circulate. Unlike during spraying, the emulsion is now circulated carefully without pressure. Two circulation functions can be selected. If paving is about to begin, start moving the emulsion through a large circuit. All the required ball valves open at the push of a button and emulsion is pumped through all the circuits and spray bars. The entire system is heated to the optimum operating temperature. During extended breaks in work, it is better to move the emulsion through a smaller circuit. In this case, it is simply circulated inside the tank without pressure. In comparison to the large circuit, this prevents unnecessary loss of heat by the emulsion and saves precious energy. The heating menu can be accessed directly via the menu Parameter Settings. The temperature of electric heating in the emulsion tank can easily be adapted to the emulsion being used. The nozzles are fitted to the five spray bars. The nozzles do not spray the emulsion continuously but in pulsed operation. The spray pulses are controlled according to the selected rate of spread and the pave speed. This automatically controlled timing of the spray pulses prevents emulsion being applied in more than one layer. Precision finished nozzle types of different size rates allow the rate of spread to be accurately metered for use in all spraying processes. The five spray bars are supplied with emulsion via three separate circuits. This arrangement allows the emulsion to be sprayed at a low pressure of no more than three bar. Due to the very low spray pressure, the emulsion is sprayed accurately and applied cleanly when working along curbs, reducing consumption at the same time. The combination of precision finished spray nozzles and low spray pressure ensures clean and eco-friendly operation of the Fugler Spray Jet Paver.